G'day and welcome back to Dark Zola Gaming and Lakeland Vale Farm. Lakeland Vale is a map by Stevie and is available from Stevie's Facebook page and simplysafemods.com. Both links are available down below in the comments. All right, let's get into it and get started. So, we are continuing on with our story here in setting up our farming empire. As we are going to head over to our farm where we've got our combine harvester still busily working away in the uh, in the paddock. So, uh, we're going to head on over there and take the windrow down there ready to windrow all the straw. I'm just going to head down here. It's just this first field down here. If you haven't seen any other episodes, then please go back to episode one and catch up with where we're up to. All right, here we go. This is it. So there's a combine down the bottom there. <clears throat> On this field that has a lot of rise and fall and everything else associated with it. And we are going to continue on in here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to set up a course uh, for this guy. Now I'm going to do it over on this far side and we're going to get him started because by the time he's finished the combine should be about finished um, so I'm going to get him to do two headers and then the up and downs the same as what the combine has done now if I start from this corner down here right so we're going to set up a course play course and get him to do this uh, so we can just let him continue on his merry way. Alright, so quite simple, we're going to just go in here and set up a course. We're going to go, uh, course, oops, no, I want to, no, 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 no. I want course generation, select field 21, headland. I want to do two passes around. There are no of anything else you have to worry about. Everything there is okay. Generate the field. Make sure we do a north south runs, which we are. Hey. Oh, pardon. Oh, yawning. Right. Let's get this started. Right, so we're going to go back from there. And we are going to set him to first waypoint drive course. Alright. Now, we're going to head on over. We're going to get the truck out of the way as well. Now, combine... Well, the combine is going to offload first and then the truck will be about ready to empty out so we're going to wait for the combine so remembering the combine we're running he doesn't want to do it why isn't he going i was going to say the combine is on the self-unload option but he's not doing that right now um. right he said to think about it there he goes he's gonna come over he's gonna come off offload into the track the trailer here and then he'll go back and continue with the course now at that time hopefully uh, there's the windrower down there. Um, we would have filled the truck up. I'm going to offload this up in the farm in the silo and we'll be good to go. Jump in the truck. Right, so I hope everyone is doing really well. We are. Uh, doing well it is the 3rd of March getting closer and closer to mid-year already getting very close to my own birthday I'm not going to tell you what date it is so no 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 but yeah getting close to uh, my birthday hopefully I'll uh, get a couple of little additions to my IT and that here so we can actually start doing things a little bit better and all that sort of stuff one of the things I'm going to get is I'm going to get a two new I say A, I'm going to get two new uh, SSDs. Uh, I've got two two terabyte SSDs on the way from the US. Um, and the reason I'm buying them from the US is they are basically half the price of what I can get them here in Australia at the moment. So, um, that'll be used for our video editing and storage uh, while we're doing the editing. And also the recording. So, I'm um, looking forward to getting those into our 
system and uh, don't have to worry then juggling about space so much well so as easily and early uh, sorry as early as I would normally have to do at the moment a bit tongue tied today if not different right offload this is going to take us up to what about 200,000 of wheat stored Now we're going to have to look at going off and selling some stuff sooner rather than later. We need to get some more funds in so we can buy some more plots of land. Uh, while we're talking about plots of land, let's have a quick look. So as we said, the next plot of land we want to look at buying is either field 11 or field 20. Um, I certainly don't want to buy field 20 while it's got, um, what have we got beetroot or potatoes. It's got uh, sugar beet, I should say. Um, so in relation to cost, that one there, 691,000. That one there, 698,000. Um, field 6, 612. And that one up there, 614. So either way, I'm, I need 600, 700,000 to buy the next field uh, nearby. Unless I was to go and sort of, or even that, that's 700,000 there. So each of our sort of plots, apart from that 394, 359, a million almost, 873, that's 1.3 million. So we need a fair bit of money, uh, field 19 is 1.7 million. Um, so yeah, we need about $600,000, $700,000 to buy our next field that we're going to utilise. So uh, we need to get a hold of that. What is that down there? Is that just, I haven't actually noticed, is that just green, just grass field? Might be handy to buy that just so we can be, use that for our grass that we need. Have to go and have a look at that at some point. All right. Now, Stevie has um, done an update to the map since we were here last, I think. Um, so we've had that update applied, uh, which is fine. And he's updated some of his uh, equipment as well as incorporating a couple of new uh, assets, uh, placeable mods, um, which is good as well. Now, we are just going to continue with that we're going to shut him down and then we'll see how things go from there all right so the combine is still going he's at what 50 percent now the windrow was on his second header row and then we'll continue that all through as well all right okay so what else we've got left to do there's probably not a lot to do actually at the moment to be honest uh, once we've got the corn lifted up, uh, sorry, the wheat lifted up, we uh, have these two fields over here. Um, we have, what do we have? We have soy and wheat in here. So we need to collect those as well. Uh, so we're just taking the combine straight up here and off uh, harvesting those fields as well. Uh, and then the other thing we're going to be looking at doing, like I said previously, is once we do look at getting another field so we've got at least another field under our belts. So we've got three large fields. Uh, we'll probably com um, convert these four fields into the one field as well. So that is yet to come in the near future. All right. That's all working nicely. Uh, I think what we might do is we might just go off and grab the the big John Deere and get ready to do some bailing so I think, oh, actually I think we might just collect the straw this time but I don't think we're going to collect the bales uh, do bailing and I think we'll just start going off and collecting this right now uh, we might as well we've got nothing better going on at the moment uh, it all depends on if I've got a loading wagon I can't remember if we, I guess we have got a shooter maker right so I'll put the shooter maker from here and then we'll go get that started. Alright. So we have got the Bourjolt uh, DLC coming out. Uh, in fact, it's probably already going to be out by the time you see this episode. Um, 
So what I'm going to need to know from you guys, as in the viewers, do you want to see some of that equipment on this map? Um, so noticing this is obviously the only map where I use uh, John Deere, uh, and probably only ever will be the only map I ever use John Deere. Um, do you want to see the, what is it, the 9RX uh, on this map? And similarly, do you also want to see the Bajolt uh, Cedars and all that sort of stuff as well? If you do, let me know in the comments down below. Because uh, if you don't let me know in the comments, I won't do it. Uh, simple as that, because I don't know that anyone actually wants to see it. So, it's in your best interest to let me know in the comments down below. And of course, let me know if there's anything else you want to see in the comments as well. Uh, or just say g'day. That's uh, all that as well. We, we do like to see the comments and we appreciate it. So, uh, please feel free to do so. Uh, we have already, already mentioned the locations to get Stevie's maps and his mods, uh, being his Facebook page. Uh, that's been the predominant place where Stevie has placed all his stuff. Uh, but as I mentioned, we have also got his Lakeland map on, lake, on simplysafemods.com. Simplysafemods.com is a website run by my good friend Jerry Grizzly Bear Sims. And he's got a lot of stuff over there at the moment that's being put on there, including farming some other 17s and map the western shore by bullet bill uh, and a whole pile of mods to support that map so uh, head on over to simplysafemods.com and have a look there there's also mod uh, maps there from ccs 101 emerald coast is there uh, and a few other things as well uh, so head on over and have a bit of a look all right t560 is slipping all right so he's having trouble with the truck all right so finish loading this up and then we'll head on up the hill and see what's going on. All right. I don't know why he's got tied up there. Uh, I don't know. It's one of the things, I guess, with the course play course, whether it's always going to go to the same place it starts at, but I was under the impression that if you move the trailer and bring it back, it'll reset itself by <clears throat> the trailer. So obviously that's not happened in this case. So uh, we'll just go up here and have a look and see exactly what is happening. Okay. Let's just... Uh, Let's see if it comes in there. Oh, I wonder if we need to go around and sort of get in position because he's sitting there waiting. He may be a little bit temperamental and have to go to the same place each time, which is fine. Uh, although I'm sure we did move. Alright. We'll see how that goes. Alright. So we'll continue on with this and take this into the silo. And we'll come back and see how that's all panned out. Yeah, so uh, we will be bringing the Bajolt DLC to the game. Uh, and whether or not it comes on this map or not, I'm not 100% sure. We'll see how that goes. Uh, we will be bringing it in on Western Australia. Not Western Australia, on Ningham Farms in Western Australia. Uh, and we will most likely uh, be bringing it in to other maps from there on in, depending upon the situation. Uh, and certainly the Patreon only map, Western Australia, uh, will have the Bajolt on it um, once we get back into getting some of those episodes done as well. Right, I'm going to offload here. And 
and head back out and continue on. Combine is headed back out to the field. So he's back down to where he should. So he's going to have to keep an eye on that the next time we run that uh, as an option and just see if it has to go to the same place each time. Uh, when he empties out the next time, we'll know whether uh, that is the case because if he goes smack central into that where that trailer is now, um, then that'll be a pretty good indication that that's what it expects. And that's not a problem. As long as we know that it expects to go there every time, um, we'll be able to prepare for that each time. We've got another two runs to do, and he'll be complete. Now, I haven't thought too much about what we're going to put back on this field either for the next uh, crop rotation. Uh, I think I think we might go some corn. A big uh, a big load of corn on this field will be be quite nice. Uh, so that's probably the most likely thing we're going to do. So before we do that, we need to. Uh, cultivate it in, possibly put some lime down, I can't remember what the lime state is, and uh, give it a bit of fertilization, and then uh, do some seeding. So that's what we'll be getting straight into after we finish this, uh, and while we've got the combine with hired hands over on the other two little fields to do the soybeans and the wheat. <clears throat> So don't forget to check out too, by the way, my good friend Feed Guy. So he's running a little channel called Feed Guy Gaming and he's doing some time lapse videos on FS19. Go check him out as well. His link is in the comments down below. And, uh, and go watch his stuff as well. And of course there is the link there for uh, Atomic67 Gaming, formerly known as Eustace Farmer and uh, his channel link is there so you can go check out all of Eustace's videos as well. All right, another load up to the farm. One thing about these bigger articulated tra the tractors, we've certainly got the power um, to get the loads up and down these, uh, these hills and all that sort of stuff, although we have got dual fire extinguishers fitted to this, just in case, seeing as this is John Deere. And uh, we don't want to use it too long though, because uh, we might have uh, some disastrous consequences. And no, disastrous consequences does not mean that I'll be continually driving them and enjoying them. That won't happen. These are the, these are the suffering things that I will do to keep you, the viewer, happy. I will actually drive John Deere, even though it actually pains me in many, many ways to do so. All right, another load done. Interesting, a zero dollar wage payment. Hmm. Anyway, all right, so the combine, we're on his last run down now. Uh, what's he on? He's at 93%, so he's about to offload actually, too. So he's not going to finish. He'll probably finish that row he's on now and do the turn and then he'll be off to offload. Um, so then we'll be able to see exactly how he's going to go with offloading 
into the trailer. Now we've uh, positioned it back again. We'll jump out of cab for a minute. Let's see if we can actually watch him. So there he goes, he's heading off. Which would be great interest to see if he actually does it properly this time. I expect he probably will because uh, he's going about the right angle of approach that he did previously. So we'll head on over that way and find out. up to the top of the field is that turned in no he's not quite done it again he's got caught up again so Pulling forward a little bit. Right, now he's okay. Alright, we'll let him finish off there. He'll go back and he'll do that last uh, row in a bit. And then we'll move him off up to the other small fields and get him going. We'll get him onto that wheat field first. And uh, then the soybeans. Reason being, then the truck went out empty and taking up the field as well. And then uh, empty once we've used all the wheat fields, and we're good to go. Right, another load of straw. We're in there. We've got about 179,000 litres of straw. Now, what we might end up doing, we might put a course play course in for this guy to actually continue doing this with this with the straw, but actually also bring it into the farm. Um, so uh, we'll see how that progresses so I'll do that off camera and that'll then basically when we come back on the next recording he'll be busy doing that so down here where we? down the bottom corner alright but that'll be it for this episode so we've almost finished the harvest here and we've just got to finish picking up all the straw, windrowing and picking up the straw and then uh, we'll be all done this field for now until we plough it all in and fertilise or lime and seed again for the next crop. So uh, that's all good, I'm getting there. So hope you enjoyed the episode, if you did press that like button, if you didn't that's okay, it's your prerogative. Please don't forget to come and join us on Facebook, Discord and Twitter. Uh, all the details for those, the links and etc. are down below in the comments. Also don't forget uh, Patreon if you would consider supporting the channel. We do have a Patreon uh, and anywhere from a dollar upwards you can help support the continued creation of videos and content for the channel. And of course Patreons get special access to special patron only series. Uh, we should be going live again this week or early next week. 
uh, when you're seeing this uh, they have been recorded ready to go just got to edit them up and that'll be good for that to go now they will only be available to patreons uh, and may be available to non-patreons in a number of months but certainly not any time real soon and of course apart from that if you're not a subscriber please consider subscribing to the channel and if you do subscribe make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well so you're made aware of when more videos are available on the channel until then make sure you keep your plows straight and sharpened and we'll see you again very very soon back here at lakeland vale farm and duck Sully gaming see you later bye